This is a tutorial on how to use a calculator to do combinations and permutations. Let's take a look at our first example. So here we have a combination with a total of five items where we only want to choose three of them. Now when we put this into the calculator, it's gonna have a slightly different notation. It's going to look like this where n is representing the total number of items we have, which is five, and r represents the number of those items that we'll use, which is three. So when we put this into the calculator, we'll first put in five, and then we'll go over to math, and then we'll go to the probability tab, and then the third option is our combination notation the NCR. Now we just need to put in three, stating we only want three of those five items. Now when we hit enter, the calculator will give us the total number of combinations we could have by choosing three items out of a total of five without repetition, which in this case is 10. So for example, if we were at a pizza restaurant, that only offered five toppings, and we wanted three of them, then there would be 10 possible ways or combinations that we can order our pizza. Now let's take a look at one more example. This time we have a permutation. And like with the last example, we have a total of five items of which we only want three. Now if we want to put this into the calculator, we'll have to use slightly different notation just like with our last example, which will look like this. So in order to put that into the calculator, we'll first put in five, and then we'll go to math, and then scroll over to the probability tab, and then choose the second option, which has that permutation notation. And now we just need to put in three. And when we hit enter, the calculator will give us all the different possibilities for this permutation without any repetition, which for our particular example would be 60. And that's how you calculate combinations and permutations on the calculator.